This year alone, Americans are expected to consume 25 billion chicken wings. But before 1964, they consumed almost none because that was the year the buffalo wing was invented, right here in Buffalo, New York, at the Anchor Bar. It's definitely a classic spot. The wings are to die for. I grew up in Buffalo, and to me, these wings are buffalo. In fact, no city in America is as closely associated with one specific food as Buffalo is to the chicken wing. So along with my brother Dave and our buddy Ernie Bach Jr., I hit the road and headed straight to where the Buffalo wing began. Located on Main Street in downtown Buffalo, New York, the Anchor Bar was opened back in 1939 by Frank and Teresa Bellissimo. And for its first 25 years, this place was little more than a local watering hole. Then, everything changed. In 1964, on a cold, snowy night in Buffalo, the chicken wing was invented right here at the bar. Teresa was cooking in the back of the restaurant. Her son, Dominic, was tending bar, and a group of his hungry friends came in and wanted something a little different, a little unique. So uh, he asked his mother, hey, Ma, can you make something different? Can you give us something uh, special? So she went back and created this concoction that's known as the Buffalo chicken wing. Never breaded, always fried with a great spicy hot sauce. Fast forward to today, and the Buffalo wing is as American as apple pie, and here they serve a ton of them, literally. The Anchor Bar serves about 2,000 pounds of wings a day, so if you could imagine a ton of chicken wings, over 5 billion chicken wings are served each year, it's unbelievable. The menu offers 10 wings, 20 wings, or 50 wings, but if you're going to schlep all the way to Buffalo, you might as well get the full 50. I'm a big time chicken wing freak. I go to every wing place I find. I get the wings at any restaurant that I am at. And I am telling you, I'm not a big man. I had at least 50 wings so far today. And I'm not done. So what makes these wings so good? First of all, we use the biggest, juiciest wings that we can get. We start off with that so the exterior is crispy and the interior is that soft, moist, beautiful, delicately cooked chicken. The cooking process locks in the juices and then the sauce is our own recipe and it's phenomenal. Because the wings are fresh, they don't dry out and they're also really big so they stay really juicy. And the sauce has that perfect balance, the blend you're looking for, the tang from the vinegar, butteriness, spice, garlic, heat, perfect on a chicken wing. This is how a chicken wing is supposed to be done. See, it's a big, meaty wing. You can see it's been fried. It's been sauced evenly. I don't know how they did this. And then, you know, they bite. Oh, there's just nothing better on this planet than a wing like this. The original wings at the Anchor Bar might just be the perfect wing. Deep fried, then tossed and sauced to perfection. But truly adventurous eaters might want to try the really hot stuff. And Ernie was up for the challenge. I am not someone that can deal with really spicy food. The name of the spiciest wing here is the suicidal. I think that's what they call it. So. I am going to try it. Our suicidal has about six different peppers in it. You know, red pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper. Here we go. But it's not an immediate overburden on your heat sensory. It's kind of an aftertaste. So you eat it, get a couple bites down, and get a wing down, and then you're, wow, okay, that's hot. It starts at the back of your tongue, and then comes forward. And now, it's starting to breathe heavier. Yeah, it's hot, it's hot. I won't even finish this one. It's good, but I won't finish this one. The Anchor Bar really is an original because there aren't many places left where you can experience such delicious culinary history, and that keeps people coming in from all over the world. And you get phone calls, you get people coming in all the time, wanting to come in and try the original wing. You hear comments, you hear people raving about it. It's places like a mecca for people to come here and try the original. And in terms of atmosphere, I guarantee you have never seen anything that looks like this restaurant. Every square inch of the walls and the ceiling are jam-packed with licensed plates and celebrity photos and beer bottles and antique cars and even over a dozen vintage motorcycles. So is it worth the trip? Well, if you're in Boston, you get on the pike and you drive west eight hours. You spend the day here, eat some wings, probably get a few to go because you got a long trip back. And yes, it's worth it.